Welcome to Design Fusion's Solid Edge blog. In this release, we're going to look at using the steering wheel to copy ordered or synchronous components in assemblies. For those of you who are using the ordered paradigm, you may not be familiar with the steering wheel, so let me do a brief introduction. In the synchronous paradigm, the steering wheel is a graphical handle which is used to move or rotate components or faces. Users can use the steering wheel to define the move vector for the move command or position the axis of rotation for a rotate command. The origin of the steering wheel will be the start point of your move and you will select the end point from the screen. Users can use the blue knobs or the origin to position the steering wheel and get the correct orientation. You can then select one of the axes to start the move command along that direction, or you can select the tool plane to move dynamically on that plane, or you can select the torus to start the rotation. In an assembly, if you have your steering wheel turned on, when you select a part, you will not only get the steering wheel, but you will also see a few advanced options on the command bar. The part that you select does not have to be a synchronous part in the assembly. You can also use this method by selecting an ordered part. Let me show you how easy it is to do this inside of a simple solid edge assembly. In this assembly, I want to copy this spotlight part over to the other side. Notice that the spotlight part is fully assembled with three assembly relationships. Also notice that in this example, I already have holes positioned on this cab top. To use this method, make sure your move on select command is turned on. With this command toggled on, you'll notice as I select the spotlight, the steering wheel appears. I'll place the origin that will be used as my move start point. In this example, I'll center it on one of these holes. On the command bar, I'm going to toggle on the copy option. In this example, one of the axes is already pointing in the direction that I want to move. So I just need to select that axis to start the move process. The next step is to select my destination point. So I'll select this hole here. The copy is placed, but I get this dialog asking me how I want to deal with the assembly relationships. You'll notice there's several options here, and if you click on the Help button, you can get a description of these options. Here I'm going to select the Remove All External Relationships and Add New Relationships to Other Components option. I'll click OK and select this component as the other component. I'll then accept this. And you see that I've received no errors. And if we highlight the copied component, you'll see that three new relationships have been placed. To recap, using the steering wheel, I was able to copy a ordered component from one side of the assembly to the other. Not only did it copy the component over to here, but it created new constraints in the copied component. This is just one of the many ways we can copy or move components. If you would like to learn more, take our advanced assembly course, which is available on our online training page.